Hello friends, it's Melody Stroud with EsborneBookBarn.com. Thank you so much for joining me for another weekly episode of Live at Lunch. Oh my goodness, friends, I have so many new titles to share with you. I'm getting another box of new titles tomorrow. So excited. Hey, Brianna. So the first thing I want to share with you um, is <gasps> First Words Cards. Now, if you see something you like, do a thumbs up. See something you love, do a heart. This is so great. These are in the same line as our, oh, my beloved number cards. I love these, y'all. If you have not seen these, you need to check them out. Um, here, I'll go ahead and open these. I don't think I've opened these yet. Um, let's see. I'll pop them open. So what I love to do with these cards, just like with our um, the old doodle, doodle cards that we used to have, um, is I like to punch a hole in them and put them on a ring. Hey, Annalise. Hey, Lauren. Monica. Glad you ladies are here today. All right. So open this baby up. Okay. So this is what it looks like. It comes with its own marker, which is great. And this little fox, y'all, look at this. Look at that little foxy face, cutie pie. So cute. Hi, Kayla. Okay, so um, you have a little, you know, uh, ways to use the cards. Hey, Leah, have some games to play. Nice that it has some suggestions. Okay, and then it has a little card with the alphabet and it tells you, I love, um, it has the dot and then it tells you which direction to go. So great. Start at the large dot, follow the arrows. Wonderful. And then we've got 30 cards with common words. So there's bag and you have a picture of a bag and then you have the word bag and they trace it. Okay, wonderful, right? Well, but wait, there's more. Flip it over. Look, look, look. And then you can do some more tracing. And then the second line, you see it starts with the B and they have to finish it. And the bottom line, they have to do the whole thing by themselves. I think it's ingenious, wonderful. And again, there's just so, oh, and each one is so cute. Each one is so cute, little animal on there. And then on the back, same thing. So again, what I like to do is you get a little hole puncher, punch a hole in there, put it on a ring, and just do a few at a time. Keep it in your purse. And then like every week, every two weeks, you just switch them out. So I love it. Hey, Kim. Hey, Stephanie. So these are so great. And it's just $10 for, oh, look at the little cat. Oh, that's so cute. So cute. Okay, so I love those cards. 30 cards, $10, front and back. Um, just another great addition to this series, which, you know, we have the number cards, which everyone needs. We have a preschooler. You need these number cards. So this is kind of like the next thing. Okay, move those out of the way. Um, another thing we got, so these were all free books we got at convention last weekend, which was amazing. Hopefully, you got a chance to see some of the videos I did, if you're in um, my UBB special peeps group, I went live at our dance party, which was pretty fun. Um, and I just now this morning uh, posted some of my favorite pictures on usbornbookbarn.com, my blog, um, so you can see some of them there. So this is, so th these were all free books. Um, and this is a new title in our Pup Patrol series, which is so super cute. It tells the story of Stamp. He's the dog there. Um, and it's from his point of view, which is really fun and unique. Uh, it tells at the beginning, dear readers, my name is Barnaby Station Stamp of Approval, but you can call me Stamp. So cute. And then throughout this book, throughout the whole series of Pup Patrol, there are little, um, like, little words that you learn. So cute. So you do learn about real dogs, but you also have a really great story about Stamp. And this is a great chapter book series. See that? So after you kind of graduate from Hey Jack, Billy B. Brown, this is a great next step. So I love Pup Patrol. Okay. And we got Taller and Shorter. 
This is very similar if you saw um, the That's Not My Book that, that came with the height chart. Um, that's a great one too. This is kind of the same thing, but without the height chart, taller and shorter, just a great book. Just really great. The only thing is that it is not touchy-feely. You all need to know that it's not touchy-feely, um, but it has the same kind of illustrations, but not touchy-feely. But bonus points because it has a meerkat, which is awesome. Hello, Emily. Glad you joined us. Oh, so cute. So really great, tall, short, uh, but not touchy-feely. Still a great book. $9.99. That's this is a lot bigger than the where's a typical one. Oh, I usually have. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So same price. Look at that. Same price, bigger, just not touchy feely. Okay. So great. Next up. Oh <gasps> color in pop-up animals. Look at that. So, this, and my daughter Anna said, it's summertime. So, Anna's right over there, and she heard me say this, and she went, ooh. So, this is so, so fun. Um, you get to create your own pop-up book with this book. It is so cool. I know, you should see Anna's face, Anna. Uh, <laughs> so, look, so you open it up, and you're like, oh, there's something missing, right? Yes. So what you do is you color the pages. So you get to create the book or your child, if you want to let your child do it. You get to create the book and then in the back, and look, they're all like that where they're missing what's going to pop up. They're missing that. See, his tail is missing. So you go to the back. It tells you what to do. It tells you exactly what to do. You need glue. All the instructions are right there. And then very neatly... And very well taped is the pop-up parts. <gasps> okay, so it's so, so great. So you take them out. I'll take them out. You can see them. Because I want to do this. Okay. Maybe I'll share with Mary and Anna. We'll see. Okay. Paula loves meerkats. I do too. Hey, Lauren. Yes, these are so fun. So these are sturdy. It's not cardstock, but it's like right before cardstock. So, you can hear it. Um, but it's it really is pop out. Like, it's perforated. Maybe I can just pop one out. Or I can start. So, you just pop it. See how easy it's popping out? Pops right out. Okay. And pop, pop, pop. Okay. So, pops right out. So cute. And it tells you here exactly what to do. Color with your favorite pencils or pens. Carefully press out. Fold along the creases. Glue the tabs to the book. So then we would color. And then we would go to the dog page. The first one here. And we would fold this tab. Dude, it's so cute. It's so cute. So look right here. And then, oh, ah, look, it's color. Coordinated. Oh, color coordinated. I know you're copying me, copycat. It's color coordinated. Look at that green. It's coordinated. And it goes to the green. And it goes to the green. Okay, that's too much. So you have the blue, and it goes on the blue color coordinated. Blue. Anna, thank you. And you put it right there, and look, it becomes pop up book. <gasps> So cute. And then there is a crease, so you would fold it here because that's what would go in the book. How cool is that? You make your, there's Anna, ah, make your own pop-up book. <gasps> so I'm really excited about this. There's giraffe, whole bunch. Anyway, it's the same for each, but it is just amazing. Anna, we're going to have to do this um, and make our own pop-up book. So, so much fun. Little cat, little cat. So this is great. I oh love kitty catties. You love kitty catties? I do too. I don't think we've ever called them kitty catties before. How much? This is ten dollars, y'all. Nine ninety nine for this perfect summer activity. Wonderful. Okay. Next up, yes, you can see that book. Uh huh. Go over there and look at it. Yes. <laughs> Next up, hyena ballerina. Another great addition. And. <laughs> 
Another great addition to our phonics readers. We have a whole slew of phonics readers. Hey, Lisa. Glad you're here, girl. Hi, Lisa. And I need you to be quiet. Thank you. Hi, Lisa. So, so much fun. Just a really another great addition to our readers. And next up, Nibbles. Nibbles? Yes, that is not new. I need you to go sit down. If you want to go live later, you need to obey Mommy. Thank you. Okay. <gasps> My Beautiful Room is a wonderful activity book um, for the older kids. It's $14.99. My daughter Mary is nine now. She is really excited about this book. Um, it says, includes 3D press out furniture and stickers. Nice. So this is kind of like, um, wow. This is kind of, oh, look here. This right here is part of it. There's the law, the floor, back wall. So this is very sturdy. If you have someone who is really into um, HGTV uh, DIY projects, this would be right up their alley. Goodness, okay, lots of stuff to do in here. Um, talks about, let's see, floor plans, color, using color, texture, uh, styles, lots of really neat things. Show a little bit about this, and it shows you how the book is gonna, let's see, in this book you'll find all these things, the room, and then you get to decorate. Yes, you can take that one. So I like it that it, it has, yes, and then go sit down. Thank you. It has like a place to do this stuff. Let's see, write a list of things you have to do in your bedroom and then a list of things you would like to do in your bedroom. Okay, interesting. Talking about, um, let's see, there might not be space in your room for everything on your list. Try to stick to essentials first. Really great. So just a really fun book um, for kind of the older, you know, like third, fourth, fifth grade. And then here are the stuff that you can draw, cut out. Really, really neat. You learn lots of stuff. And then at the very end, hi, Michelle. And then at the very end, these press out, you have a room. Oh, and there's even stickers on the other side of this page. You have a really fun room. These are all things, you can't really see it well. They're all perforated, all parts of the room to decorate and style. And then you can see on the front here, this is kind of what it would look like when you're done. It would stand up and you have all these little pieces, kind of similar to the press out paper dolls, which we love. Um, but they're, I know, yeah, you love the press out paper dolls. Anyway, fun activity book for the older kids. The press out paper dolls, um, we did them. Let's see, and I wanted to. Where is it? Hey, Anna, can you go find, go upstairs and find the Beauty and the Beast book? The Beauty and the Beast one that you had this morning. Um, the real live one? The one that we talked about this morning. Yes, I will. You go find me the book. Michelle, you asked about the Beauty and the Beast one. I'm seeing if Anna will go get it for us um, so you can see what it's like inside and see if it'd be a good fit for the four-year-old you're shopping for. Okay, everyone. Hi, Shelly. <gasps> Ludwig the Space Dog. Friends, friends, friends. This is amazing. This is a 3D book mind blown that comes with its own pair of 3D glasses right here. This book is so much fun. First off, because it's all in 3D, like from the very beginning, you put these glasses on. Let's see if I can do it. And oh, um, goodness. <laughs> Look. Do the robot. Ro ro I did the robot. Did you find the book? Let me see. Yes. Okay. Hand and this one. the Zootopia. And the Zootopia book. We don't sell Zootopia books. Um, 
Talk about the Zootopia. I will listen. Can you look? Look at me. Look at me. Shh. Okay. If you listen, if you want to go live later, need you be quiet. Good girl. Okay. So let me share with you Ludwig the Space Dog. So um, this is amazing. It's all in 3D, so it's going to look kind of funny to you right now. But Ludwig is this little dog, and he has some little friends, and he is kind of stuck. May in, I try on the glasses? In just a minute, if you're quiet, you have to obey mommy. Thank you. Um, he, so there's Ludwig, and it introduces all his friends, and they're all from books. And he really wants to go exploring. Ludwig wants to kind of get out of the book, but he's stuck. And he doesn't, I mean, he tries to get out, but he really wants to go to space. And he tries climbing up to the stars, but it doesn't work. And see, all of this right here is in 3D. The whole book is in 3D. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Heidi. And look, he looks so sad. He stays up all night reading about space, trying to find a way to get to space. But you can catch them. Listen, I need you to be quiet or go upstairs. So these feathers look so cool in 3D. Go upstairs, please, and wait for me. Go upstairs. I'll be right there. Thank you. Thank you. Go upstairs. That's the fun of going live in the summertime. So, okay. So, Ludwig, and look, can you imagine what this looks like 3D? It is so much fun. So much fun. So, Ludwig really wants to escape and go to space. He can't figure out way. Then, boom, a rocket. A rocket crashes right into the book. And he meets this space explorer penguin who then takes him out of, oh, he fixes, he fixes the spaceship because the spaceship crashes. And so Ludwig and his friends fix the spaceship and then the explorer takes him off to space. It is so fun. You get the 3D glasses with it, which are super cool for any kid. Um, and it's just amazing. It's just an ingenious book. So interesting. Um, and just about, oh, oh, I don't know if I should show you this or not. <gasps> I'm going to go ahead and show you. Um, I, uh, okay, I'm going to show you. <gasps> this is so cool. This is what Ludwig sees in space. Look, it's so big. It's all 3D. I mean, your kids will go nuts when they see this. Oh, um, goodness. And something else I want to tell you about this book and all the books that we do um, for our Tuesday story time, which is now in UBB Special Peeps. Um, we do a live story time on Tuesdays. However, announcement, this week it's moved to Friday because we're doing classical conversations with Anna this coming year, so we're very excited. But our practicum, which is like our uh, our big workshop for three days, like all day for three days, starts tomorrow. So, um, so I'll be with Anna there all day, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So Friday, we're going to have our story time. But all the books we do in story time, um, including this book, are by Kane Miller, which um, is so cool, which Usborn owns, and it will tell you on the back of every Kane Miller book where the book is from. So I think that's really cool, because you can kind of collect them from all over the world. And this one is from England, so really cool. Yes, yeah, Stephanie, yes, yeah, Stephanie knows about CC. So fun. Okay, so Ludwig the Space Dog, and this is actually one that you can vote for in Special Peeps if you want this to be the next story time, which will be Friday. So be sure to join that group so you can vote and see the story times. <gasps> okay, moving on. I'm sorry it's taking so long today. Okay, Michelle, you asked about Beauty and the Beast. Um, this is, Anna didn't find Beauty and the Beast, but she found Little Red Riding Hood, which is the same one in the series, so you can just kind of see what it's like. Look at that, ah, uh, with all the different fun cutouts. Um, it's really fun, unique book, and just great. So, Beauty and the Beast is very similar to this, um, with flaps and fun things, very sturdy for ages three and up. 
And if you haven't heard, the next one in this is Sleeping Beauty, which is coming out, I believe, in August. Have to check for sure. It's not out yet, but oh, Lisa, Lisa's four-year-old daughter loves Beauty and the Beast, Michelle. So Lisa and I both give it a thumbs up recommendation um, for the four-year-old that you are shopping for, Michelle. Okay. Yes, Heidi says they're like pieces of art. They are amazing. They're amazing. Um, okay, so this is the last one I'm going to share with you, and it's the one that most of you said you wanted to see. Um, it is fantastic, but I need to tell you two <gasps> things about it, and you need to be quiet, sweetie pie. Thank you. Okay, so let me show you this amazing book. There are five friends in here, and you're going to follow them. It says, follow five friends who have just started school to see what happens and find out what you need to know before you start school too, right? So just an amazing book, $14.99, it's big, um, but you do need to know two things. So lots of great things in here, numbers and counting, opposites, lunchtime, dressing up, just a really great book to have this summer in preparation for your kid's first day at school, right? To help them not be so scared. And it's got her, and it's got her, I'm gonna give this to you in just a minute, okay, baby? And it's got her little hand out going like this. Just a minute. That's the best thing is that, y'all, Anna gets all these books, Anna and Mary, so, um, I just love, I love that for them, that I can give them all these books. Okay, so really, you hear it? It's the really thick pages. Um, they're also kind of glossy, so I imagine if you spill something, you can go whoop and wipe it off. Okay, so these are the friends. These five friends have just started school. They're going to tell you all about it and about all the things you need to know before you start school. You need to know about I know, yes, you're gonna be homeschooled next year. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it talks about getting dressed. How cute is that? So getting dressed, some things you may need to take to school. Oh, like a backpack. Like a backpack, it's in there. Okay, so, so fun. Our day at school. Story time. You've got the different colors. Got the different colors in there. Um, it's got shapes, numbers, a little bit of that numbers. Okay, so it's just really great. However, there are two um, two errors in the book that you do need to know about because if you buy it like now, like soon, if you buy it soon, the book will have errors when you get it now. They're going, they know about the errors. They will be corrected in the next, re, in the in the reprinting of the book, but they can't reprint it right now. Um, so, I want to show you what they are because I don't think it kills the book. And here's why. Okay. Um, let's see. The first one, one second. So, the first one, see if you can spot it. I'm not going to say anything. See if you can spot it. When you spot it, say it or comment, comment, because I can't hear you. Do you see it? You see the error. I see the arrow. You see the error. Anna sees it. I see it too. You see it too. What is it, Mary? Just tell me. Oh, you know, you haven't seen it yet. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Heidi's got it. The clean and dirty. They just put the wrong word right here. The clean and dirty. The, right, the clean and dirty. It should be switched, right? But yeah, Heidi says it's all perspective. But does that mean that you shouldn't get this book? There's, you know. Yes. And that, no. <laughs> There's, <laughs> the, there are still so many amazing things. Um, what you can just tell your kids is, oh, yes. oh yes. goodness. Yes. I need you to be quiet now. Thank you. You can just say, oh, goodness, they made a boo-boo. And actually, kids really like that. Like, Mary, as soon as I said there was an error, Mary, like, came over because she wanted to see. So, that kind of makes it more fun. And for me, 
Uh, yes, Kristen, Kirsten, I'm sorry. Kirsten says a great learning opportunity. It really is because, yeah, it's just a boo-boo. Another way to say everyone makes mistakes. This one slipped by the editor. Whoops, isn't that funny? We know it's really different. Um, and the other one I haven't even found yet. Someone shared it with me. There's a grammatical error in one of the... Um, in one of the speech bubbles, there's a grammatical error. But Esborn knows about it, and it will be fixed in the next reprint. Anyway, this is still a really great book. And for me, as an Esborn collector, I, you know, I'm, I'm not happy it has an error, but it doesn't bother me. It actually um, makes it more I'm appealing to me because I am a collector. You can stay with me. Um, but anyway, so fun. Such a fun book. And if you don't like it with the errors, just wait a little while. There will be a reprint. Um, I don't know when, but um, it's just such a great, great book. Heidi says she got it and she ordered Ludwig. I'm telling you, girl, you're going to love it. Okay, well, lots of books that I shared with you. Which one was your favorite? Um. Okay. This was Anna's favorite. See, she doesn't care. There's a layer. You can see it. Um, so, yeah, I'm getting another box tomorrow of some more things. Oh, my goodness. Me too. <gasps> Hip and Hop. <gasps> Hip and Hop are coming tomorrow. That was the one that I saw at convention. Hi, Shauna. Hey, Christine. Um, that I so want. I tried to read it aloud um, in the special peep group, but they had already put them up. Um, oh my goodness, Hip and Hop, you are going to L-O-V-E, Hip and Hop is so, so great. So I can't wait to share that with you. Um, so that's coming in tomorrow, along with a few others. Pandemonia is coming tomorrow, so fun. Um, anyway, just so many great books. I get really excited about the books. My girls do too. Um, um, so, you want to say something? No, um, my one. about my room. Mary has set up a little reading area in her room. I covered everything up since it's like a world inside a world. A world inside a world. I like that. I like that. So it's like a little reading place for like oh. I like I have this bookshelf and I have my I took my chair out because mm -hmm. um I I can lay down and stuff. Oh, she can lay down and read. Mary's a really good reader. Um, and Anna is showing you her iPad, so it's summertime. Well, anyway, y'all, thank you so much for joining me. I know we went long, um, no, but I'm lying. in just one second, let me say bye-bye. Okay, I'm going to say bye-bye. Um, but join me, um, on Wednesday in my special peep group. We have a little special something, so be sure you're in the special peep group. Um, and then on Friday, I'm going to read Storytime live in the special peep group on Friday. So be sure to check that out there. And it's going to be with Penelope. And it's going to be with Penelope Peep because she's our new little peep mascot. Mary's going to grab her real quick. Um, and, and Anna really likes this Frozen storybook on the iPad. There's Penelope. Because there's movies too. And Peep Pastor. Yes. And you can see them. Because yeah. there's real live movies. Real live like movies. This. Yes. Okay. Well, I hope y'all are having a fabulous day. Um, and thank you. I know many of you prayed for Anna and her um, little cancer spots removal. Because that, they just picked one. And she just picked one, so we need to put a Band-Aid on it. But, so um, I just put a Band-Aid on it. I don't care. You did it yourself? Yes. Okay. Well, I need to go. <laughs> y'all have a fabulous day. I hope to see you later this week um, for Storytime Live. And don't forget, be a member of UBB Special Peeps. Special peeps get special perks. Okay, bye everyone.